Hello, this is a, another, this is mini tutorial number two. Today we are going to be making um, Lego minifigures talk in stop motion. We're going to be animating them using Photoshop elements. So to start we're going to go to open and then we're going to go to videos. Just have to find it. Um, we're going to, we're going to, um, let me just find the vi uh, picture. I'm going to use one from the actual. I think I'm going to use this. One. Yeah. So we're going to start off with the picture. And this is using Photoshop. And this is going to make a very fluent animation. So we're going to start off. Instead of taking this and just scribbling all over his face, not that that's bad or anything, I mean, it's just not as, it's not going to make it turn out as good. And as you all know, I use it at the beginning with um, Captain Reinhardt, but that was before I really thought about how I should actually be doing it. So to start off, I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, and Liquify. This is different on which version of Photoshop you are using. So I'm gonna go to. So I'm gonna now gonna zoom in to his where his mouth is, and I'll just zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to use the. I don't I actually don't know what it's called. I think it's called the the bloat tool. And I'm just gonna go just slightly go over his mouth, like so. Now I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna click, click Save As. I'm not going to save it in there due to reasons. Now I'm going to save it in here. First, I'm going to make a new folder. Let's call it Talk Talking Animation Tutorial. And I'm going to call it Pick Number One so that I can keep track of it. And always save it as a JPEG. Save. And be sure to save it in the highest quality that you can so the max which is 12 click ok now I'm going to go back to liquify and we're going to use the bloat tool again this time we're just going to make it slightly like that so like his mouth is gradually going to be opening then I'm going to click save as and then there I'm going to I of course as you can see I called it number 2 so that this is so I can also keep track of them now with this one I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing just make it gradually gradually there and then we do that and then we save so as you can see his mouth is getting bigger and when this does all come together it will look it should look if you do it right should look very fluent just be kind of careful of how big you make his mouth and just be very careful with the liquify tool overall because it can get out of hand That, this is going to be the last one until I make it. This one's going to be called 04. Now, yeah, as you can see, it takes a while. But in the end, it does produce some pretty good animation. Let's just make his, let's make his mouth really big so that we can clearly see it like that. It's actually a little big, but you know, we're, we're, we're being just, it's going to make it look good. Now comes the task of making it smaller. Obviously, we can't revert it because it's already, already been saved. So instead, we're going to use the, I don't know what that's called, it's like the pucker tool, which is what makes it smaller. Now with this, we're going to do the same thing from before. 
We're gonna gradually just try to make it, just try to follow the same path you did as it was opening. But we're just gonna do that and now we're gonna keep doing this. And I'm gonna show all of it because I don't wanna edit parts of it out. There we go. This is act, this is more, this is a, uh, and just, you get, you get the hang of it after a while to just keep making it. Yes, it takes a while, but in the end, it looks pretty fluent. Obviously, the, then with this, more flame, flames isn't always a good thing. I'm going a little over the top by making so many. The animation that was used in the part one of Nemesis was in eight flames. This is going to be a little larger than that. So we may just have to make it. This should be about where we put it. There. I click save. You know, I think we'll put there. Now we go into Premiere Elements, which is where I have the uh, the audio file. We'll just play that for you. This is a tutorial on how to make Legos talk. I don't know if you heard that, but this so so we're gonna zoom in. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just shave off just a little bit. Like the, the and now we're going to go over here. Where I don't believe there's anything. And we're going to make it go like that. We're just going to try and make it smaller. Com consolidate it a little bit. This is a tutorial. So now, we're going to go to, so we're going to go to get media from files and folders. And we're going to go here. And we're not going to hit open. We're going to hit import folder now it adds and imports the media so now all of our pictures are there so we are going to drag this over like so and now we are going to drag it over again over the next waveforms and then again, notice how I'm leaving a little gap right there. I'm going to drag it there. And then here, we're going to get rid of some. I'm actually going to get rid of all of it because we're going to do something special with that. But first, before we do this, we're going to do a render work area just so it runs a little more this one's a little smoother this is a tutorial on how to make legos talk and as you can see there it, it looked pretty fluent i like the way it talks i like the way it looks but i'm going to take this first one and we're just going to make it so that it goes to like the whole thing same of here same of actually this one we're going to take the um, make it we're, we're going to try and like do that because obviously that one is slightly larger so I'm going to do the same thing and then this one we do this one we're going to try and I'm going to do that okay, this one this one with that one and that should, and we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna hit render work area again. This is a tutorial on how to make Legos talk. So there you have it. That's a tutorial on how to make Legos talk fluently. And um, there you have it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you liked the tutorial. Goodbye.